Assuming you're logged into your web client, you'll have to log out. At the top left hand corner on your avatar picture, you gotta click on that and then click on exit client. Now you'll have to go to the address bar Once you're there, delete the word web client plus anything after that. Then hit enter and it will take you to another username and password page. The username and password here is the same as the web client. Over on the left hand side, click on ring groups. From here, you can either modify an existing ring group or create a new ring group. Let's create a new ring group. From here, just follow the bouncing ball. Name your ring group. Keep the extension number within the ring group range if you have one. In the ring groups, there are two ring strategies. Prioritized hunt rings the members from top down from your list below. Ring all rings all the members at the same time. Select the members you want in the group, either select all or you can select one by one. Once you've done that, we'll move over to direct inbound dialing. Click on add DID DDI. You should have a list of direct numbers to choose from. If you do not, contact your administrator. Now we'll move over to destination if no answer. Calls will be redirected to this destination when the above ring time expires. You have six options to choose from. Connect to extension if you want the call to redirect to an agent. Voicemail box for extension sends the call directly to a mailbox. Digital receptionist sends the calls to the system's menu options you can configure. You can send the call to a queue or to another ring group. Or you can redirect the calls directly to an external number. Once you're happy with the group, scroll up and hit OK. You'll now see your new group in the list. On the top left, under inbound rules, you'll be able to see the direct in dial that you've assigned to that group. You can click on an entry to modify the destination, but if you want to change the in dial, you have to create a new entry rule. 